Crystal Palace against Brighton. Um, Palace obviously struggling to pick up wins at the moment against a Brighton side who are just continuing to oppress under uh, Roberto Di Zerbi. How do you see that one go? Again, Derby. So it's kind of um, form is, is, is less relevant. Uh, both have different approaches. Both like the styles that the managers have. Um, how do I see it going? I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. Arsenal against Brentford. Obviously, Arsenal looking to bounce back from that defeat at Everton against the Brentford side who are in good form. I think they're unbeaten in eight or nine games. How do you see that one going? Yeah, um, I'm going to go with just what uh, my heart and say Arsenal going to win it 2-1. Leicester are welcoming Tottenham to the King Power Stadium. Obviously, Tottenham are coming off the back of a, of a great result against Manchester City. Mm. Again, um, different different game for, for Spurs. Obviously, favourites going in. Leicester do try and play, which could help Spurs with their style and their approach. Uh, so, I will say 3-1 Spurs. We've got Bournemouth against Newcastle. Bournemouth really struggling at the moment uh, against Newcastle, who are obviously still in the top four, struggling to pick up wins as regularly as they were. A few draws in there. Don't ask me why. I see a shock. Yeah, I see Bournemouth getting something from the game. So I'm going to go against the grain and say 1-0 Bournemouth. I know you said that. Yeah. Why, why do you think that? Yeah, uh, I just think there's there may be a slight kind of expectation from from Newcastle now to beat teams down the bottom and comes with a different level of pressure so I think if again there's going to be times when it's needed for the bottom teams to treat home games like away ones and just be hard to beat and for Newcastle to achieve their goals or objectives they have to they have to win games like this so if you try and stay in the game for as long as possible it then it's a different pressure. So I'm going to say, yeah, boom, 1-0. Leeds hosting Manchester United. Obviously a quick fire turnaround for them after their 2-2 draw in midweek. Ellen Road, Ellen Road crowd will be right up for this one. As good as the result was, I think it hinders them playing so close and then Man United being aware now of what, what threat they pose and how difficult the game could be. So... I'm going to go 3-1 Man United. A bit of a London derby here. West Ham against Chelsea. West Ham still struggling near, near down the bottom. Obviously, Chelsea still bedding in their eight new signings. West Ham, in terms of league position, yeah, but the current form is OK. I think it's four or five games maybe now. They're unbeaten. So, again, take a, a tougher approach to not wanting to get beat rather than trying to win early on. Uh, if they do that, I think that that helps them. So, for whatever reason, Chelsea don't look like they're scoring. So, I'm going to go nil-nil. Fulham against Nottingham Forest. Obviously, Fulham still impressing in the top half. Nottingham Forest are one of a number of teams who are picking up a bit of form at the bottom. And then I think they're now eight points or ten points clear of the, the relegation zone. Wow, yeah, again, um, didn't see that. Uh, really like the coach um, and he's done a great job considering the transition of players um, that he's had to deal with. Um, yeah, I could probably see them winning, beating Fulham. Uh, I don't know how much Fulham's cup run helps or hinders them. Um, it hasn't hindered them yet, but I I don't know why. I just see this being uh, a, a good game for Forest. So I'm going to go Forest 2 1. Bottom side, Southampton against Wolves, who are another team who've who've impressed under a new manager, Julian Lopetegui. Um, Southampton look to be in a real bad state at the moment. Obviously, a lot of pressure on Nathan Jones. Yeah, I, I think this being a pivotal game for Nathan Jones. I think if there was more realistic candidates to take charge, 
they may have made a change already, but yeah, I, I don't see this being a good game for him, regardless of where it is. Um, obviously, some strange comments coming out last week. Um, Lapetegui has been excellent for me. Um, really, really changed the the kind of atmosphere at Wolves, but not in a in a honeymoon kind of period way. It's kind of like genuine progression, um, genuine kind of guidance and leadership. Um, I'm going to say Wolves 2-0. Man City, Villa, obviously Man City looking to bounce back after that defeat to Spurs. Villa, a uh, little bit of a speed bump after you know a, a great run of form under Unai Emery. They lost to Leicester last week. I think there'll be periods where they change them, but uh, yeah, I don't see them having enough to to win the game. Um, Villa's a team that can can be tough to to kind of beat, but if City get it right, they always they can put three or four past Villa for some reason. So I'm gonna go three 0 Man City. Then rounding off the weekend on Monday night is the Merseyside derby. Everton travelling to Anfield to face Liverpool off the back of a great win against Arsenal. Yeah, um, like we said, it's, it's a big game for Everton, huge game for Liverpool um, in regards to to how it looks for their season. Um, I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. 